Hi there, this is Hans with Listings Magic, and this video is going to go into in-depth our really unique and innovative property valuation pages. Uh, so if you're not somebody that is interested in utilizing some really cool valuation pages to try and generate more seller leads, then this video is not for you. If you are somebody that is using or is interested in finding out how to leverage our valuation pages, then this is going to be an in-depth video and just how to do that and how to set it up uh, with some recommendations. And so how you access the, and, and there's some updates too to the valuation pages too that if you have been using them, it's important to know about. So how you access them is from the main dashboard, you can either get to them here or down here. And this is the valuation page setup. And so you have the ability to, to create any city valuation page that you want. And so I've got one set up currently for Conifer. I'm going to go ahead and use that one as my demonstration. One, uh, you'll see here, and I've also got one here for Boca Raton, Florida. So uh, I'll just kind of show you, you know, the way to kind of personalize and customize them. But the first thing I'm going to do is show you what they look like and, and how they work and what's unique about them. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Click on update this and right now it's got forced registration. I'm going to set that to soft reg and I'll show you what that means. So many of the, I've looked at a lot of valuation pages and a lot of agents that I've been to your Facebook pages where you're you know, putting them there, maybe running ads for them. And they seem to all have this, this flaw. And the flaw is, is that years ago um, you could request somebody to give you their inf contact information before you provided the value. That is no longer the case. It just doesn't work any longer. There's, there's not enough trust or enough value in the eyes of the seller to give you their information before you give them something of value. And so we're going to show you how this software edge works here. Um, we'll put in no phone number required. We're not going to require a phone number. And then do we want to include the site visit? Yes, we'll do that. Um, oh, I see. We we have a customized version here, so we're going to turn that off. Um, this is this was actually an agent that wanted to put this in, and so this these are some of the updates that we put into the to the back end that you can take advantage of. So we'll save that. Uh, we're going to come back here and load that valuation page. So we'll click on the link here, and this is what it looks like. It has the picture of the city, so we're kind of building that trust in the eyes of the home sellers that they think that you know what we're talking about uh, we're local and you see one of the things that we have popping up now is, is that we have the Google Maps what's my location uh, included so now we're asking to know their location if we click on allow it's going to pre-populate the address that it thinks that we are located in. And it's extremely accurate, especially in urban areas. And this is actually a test um, address that I put in. No, that's not my actual address. But you'll see here, even without doing anything, I did not, as the home potential home seller, I did not have to put anything in, and I actually received a lead notification. So it's an address lead. We don't know who they are. We don't know what they're email address is or what their name is, but of course you now know an address of somebody that more than likely that was somebody that looked at this page and they had, didn't have to do a thing, but you got that information that they took some action and there's, a, there's value in that alone. So I'm going to actually put in a different address and I'm going to put in my old, I always use this as, for demonstration purposes, my old address growing up. Oh, South Africa, the Southwest. So that's that. I plug that in. And, and of course, if that address isn't correct, they can, of course, update it like I just did. And now, again, very important, building trust, showing that property, and we're pulling in records from public records, and it can be updated if it's not correct, you know, whatever that uh, change might need to be. And then click here if the information is correct. And so now we're going to take them to the final step in this process, the final landing page. And this page will have not just one valuation. Most of these valuation tools, A, don't even give a value. They just say, you know, we'll be in touch with you shortly, which is very irritating to somebody that wants instant information, which is pretty much everybody these days. 
Well, we're going to give them multiple valuations. Look at the number of valuations. So we've got the Zilla, which everybody knows about. Home Junction is another site. And as I'm scrolling, as the home seller kind of getting my head around all of this, you'll see that we have this soft pop-up. These are just estimates for your um, Southwest 7th Street Margate. You get a complimentary staging as part of our listing package when we could free staging. This is something that an agent wanted us to incorporate. And so you can put that into the back end and, and really customize this however you want to, this soft reg pop-up, as we call it. And so I'm not going to fill that out for now. I just wanted to show you how that works. And so you can see if they want to you know, do that after the fact, they can still get to it and enter that information. And so again, that's one of the changes as well as the um, ask for the location information as well. So let me go and show you a different one just to point out the differences. So I want to look at this one. And it's also soft edge, but now we're requiring a phone number. We have this soft um, ask addition called include site visit. And then we can change the name of the button. But we're going to keep that and we'll customize the, the landing page background just to show you how that works. And if you want to put in the Facebook pixel, for those of you that are a little more sophisticated marketers around Facebook and you want to do retargeting, that's important to put that in there. So you can put that Facebook pixel in there as well. Save valuation details, and now let's take a look at this one. I'm going to do the same thing. You'll see again, I'm pointing this out because obviously a mountain property is extremely different than a Florida property. And so we're again, we're building that trust by putting in a picture of Boca Raton. And it doesn't have to be Boca, just so, you, so you're clear. You can put in any address. This is just a uh, Southwest 7th. Just a way to create pages. If you put in no page or no city at all, you can do that as well. I'll show you that here later. Uh, but you're going to see the same thing. We're going to the same place, just getting there on a different page. And same thing, showing that house, creating that trust, creating that value. We click on next. And I just want to show you, this is the standard default soft reg page. If you did not update it and customize it like the free staging, uh, complimentary staging. So again, now you can see that red backdrop and I'm coming through as the seller, scrolling through, just seeing what the different prices are. I've got that average mean price here that really is, uh, uh, you know, there's a vast difference between the low and the high. And then here's that soft ridge. And this is a little bit different because it talks about how we will get you a real valuation because these are just guesstimates. And we use that term guesstimates, which everybody understands what that means and now if I put in my information as a potential homeowner and, and then here's the other one I wanted to bring up are you open to a site visit to get a better sense of a property's value visiting the property and possibly seeing inside is essential being able to see the property will create a valuation with much higher accuracy. And so, yes, I am open to a site visit. And it's just kind of creating that, hmm, in order for this agent to really understand the value of my house, they need to see it. And so that's kind of the purpose behind that. And so once they do that, they click on submit, and you, of course, will get that full lead, not just the address. It'll have all the information in there that you need to do a follow-up with. So... That is a little bit of an in-depth um, process. What you want to do is you can post these to Facebook, uh, post them to LinkedIn. You can run ads on various platforms to try and generate more traffic to those. Those will be a little bit more in-depth training videos that I'll do at a different point in time. But just wanted to give you uh, some insights into our new, updated, very powerful uh, valuation uh, pages. They are included. Uh, there's no extra cost. I see many agents that pay up, upwards of two to three hundred dollars a month for something that doesn't even give the same value that our tool does. Uh, included, I would say free, but included in the product set. So, any questions on this? Reach out to us at support at listingsmagic.com. And thanks for watching.